Hi, this is video tutorial number 29, Introduction to Jitter, Filling a Matrix. Um, today we're just going to, this should be a reasonably short video, uh, using an object called JitFill. So we've got a new window up here, and as we often do, we're just going to uh, get the object out of the help file with its various components. So, uh, type N for a new object, and type uh, here I'll zoom there and just type JIT JITFILL comes right up click on it that's what we want okay so um, let's option click on that and get the help file okay so this pretty much um, explains uh, JITFILL here and as you draw this is a multi slider and if you draw in it, make a sort of bar graph, if you will, what they're trying to show you is that these are the, it sends out this message, this big list of numbers every time you do this, and then they have this JIT fill filling this matrix, and this is the display of that matrix. Very interesting, but that's not actually what we want, so it kind of shows us how it works, but here's the one we want. So unlock their patcher and just grab everything except the offset. We don't really need the offset. So that looks good to me. Control copy, close the window, don't save it, don't forget. Uh, we'll delete that object and paste this object. And um, now we'll lock our patcher and just make sure that our uh, JIT fill works and you can draw in each one of these and you'll see it progresses down toward the end. You notice the beginning here is green that's because I missed the very very beginning there um, or did I? Hmm. Or there's an offset already in there. <laughs> in any case, so whoop, oh there we go. So when I drew these off to the left hand side, it took care of that. So you can draw any uh, design you want here to sort of start getting a view of how the colors mix together. There we go. Nice. So um, yeah, you can see. Th so this um, is 16 by 16, which I believe, if you do the math, is 256. That number that we always love because it's the uh, uh, what two to the eighth power or something like that. And then each one of these, you'll see, if you go on over to our. Um, I gotta zoom out. There's no other way to do it. Um, you'll see, yeah, 256 sliders, so they they match up quite nicely, um, and that's pretty much it. One thing that I didn't mention yet is this thing that says bar. Bar is the name of it, and probably what we should all do here is, oops, let me unlock that again, is uh, change the name of this to Barry or something so that it doesn't interfere with um, the other ones that are, the other uh, patchers that are going on. I was playing around with this earlier and since I kept using the same help files they all were named the same thing and so they were all interfering with each other. And now you'll notice that this doesn't work anymore because this JIT matrix, which is where all the data is being stored, is not yet named Barry. So let's name it Barry. Right? And now, hopefully, it is working. Um, it hasn't gotten filled with uh, green or blue yet because it's a new matrix. So as soon as I touch this, it'll go green. 
and as soon as I touch this one it'll get all the blue put into it. There we go. And now it's ready to go. This um, named matrix thing, by the way, is, uh, is an important thing to understand. And so we could also uh, put one of these, whoops, over here. I don't know why I didn't just include this, but I didn't. And then instead of uh, instead of connecting it with these cables, we can just put a button on the top and say export whatever is in JIT matrix Barry. Okay, so lock it down and hit it, and there it is. So if you were doing um, uh, complex arithmetic or subroutines, you could put another one of these over here. There's a lot of um, objects in Max that work that way. If they have a name, they're the same wherever they are. Now, why did I have to put the button on there? Because this um, needs to be told to export um, whatever you're doing. The other thing we could have done is to put a new object, a metronome, on there. Hopefully, it'll work all the time, or at least 25 times a second. Very nice. So there you go. Um, that's it. I'm not going to labor JIT fill for too long. We'll have other things to do with it, but they're really more about doing other stuff. Um, any long list that you can feed, feed into a JIT fill, and that will uh, get put into the matrix down here. Anyway, that's all, so thank you for watching.